Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I am Nadine. Today I am outside just doing some odd jobs. The last video that you watched, I believe I put in my raspberry bushes or raspberry canes in the rain, <laughs> or I beat the rain actually. Um, but in order to plant my blueberries and my raspberries, I actually had to pull a garden wall out of that section of the garden. Um, and then there was another one another garden wall in front of my elderberries on the opposite side of the garden and so slowly over this week I've been moving that garden wall to the other side of our garage because I'm putting in a shade garden and just walling in some various places to I guess add some visual texture to our yard um, and kind of get rid of these weird patches of grass that we have. Um, we are planning on extending our porch patio um, to make a larger sitting area for when we have company over and just make it a little bit more comfortable for all of us to sit out here. Um, and so we've just had some really weird like patches of grass to mow uh, around garden beds and whatnot. So my plan is to get rid of those weird patches of grass that we need to mow because it's a pain in the butt and I don't like doing it. So I'm getting rid of them and putting gardens in instead. So my hope is with the shade garden, I can put some shade loving flowers in there that I can also add to bouquets um, because the cut flower garden is gonna go on the other side of the shade garden in front of our chicken run. And so my hope is just to make this just a beautiful oasis of flowers. Um, so yeah, let me show you, let me show you what I have done so far, kind of explain my thought process and uh, uh, move some dirt. So my plan is to get rid of the old chicken garden boxes because they're kind of, they're at the end of their rope, I guess you could say, the end of their life. Um, they're just pine boxes that were not treated and so they're starting to rot out in a few areas. And so we're just gonna get rid of those. And I will just give the chicken scraps from my big garden like I usually do. Um, and we're just gonna do away with those boxes. So I need to move all of the dirt from those boxes and I'm gonna put it in the shade garden to, um, I need to show you what it looks like in order for you to understand. But I'm gonna move the dirt from those boxes to the shade garden box and then I'm waiting for my quad to charge so that I can go and get compost to put into the shade garden as well because I'm going to need more than what's in the um, I'm going to need more than what's in the chicken garden boxes uh, but the battery's dead so I'm waiting for that to charge so while I'm waiting for that to charge I'm going to go ahead and get the dirt moved from the chicken garden boxes over here um, and then by the time I'm done with that the quad should be charged and I should be able to go get some compost so let me show you what I have so far and then we'll get started on moving some dirt. All right, so here is what I have so far. So this was just a big strip of grass. And then over here, we've got like this weird patch of grass. And then we've got this weird patch of grass. Well, this is where we wanna put the extended patio. So that's why the garden stops here. And well, this one kind of goes into my fish pond garden. Um, so yeah, this is going to eventually be patio, and so I'm just turning this into one big garden and then one big garden over here. And this is the garden wall that I removed from the vegetable garden. So I'm just using it here to add a little bit of height because then this is going to be either mulch or gravel because I have my, my table and chairs that I want to sit here. Um, so yeah, it's either going to be mulch or gravel. I haven't decided yet, but to kill the grass off in here, I layered cardboard. It goes all the way down and around, and then I cut out a little section here to put around my azalea. I do believe that's what this is. Yeah, azalea. Um, and this will help kill off the grass and then it'll break down eventually and add to 
the soil of this bed. I find um, a lot of my boxes from clothing retail stores. I worked at Old Navy for a little while and um, I just call up there when I know they have truck days and like, hey, can you save some boxes for me? Um, I really like their boxes because there's not a lot of ink or labeling on them um, from like uh, brand names and things like that. It's usually just a couple, some stickers and a little bit of like ink numbering. So I don't have to worry too much about ink seeping into the soil. You don't want to use like a heavily inked box. Um, so you want to try to find cardboard that has, or at least I find cardboard that has the least amount of printing on it. Um, just so that I know that that's not leaking into my soil. Um, so this is what I have so far. Like I said, we're just going to move the dirt from my chicken garden boxes there. These uh, red boxes behind me, we're going to get rid of those and we're going to pull the dirt out and put it over here in the shade garden. And then we're just going to use the quad to go back and get compost to top it off. And then uh, I, I am expecting a couple loads of wood chips from my local tree guy. He's got a couple couple loads coming for me and I can mulch over top of that to help retain moisture and block out weeds. So, and then in this spot behind me here will be my field of cut flowers eventually. <laughs> That'll be the next thing to do. Alrighty, let me get you guys set up on a tripod. We're gonna start moving some dirt.
so this is what we got so far. This was one of the chicken garden beds. I was surprised there was that much dirt in there. I do need to bring it up higher though, because this is still a good two to three inches too low. And we want to kind of mound it up higher than these to account for settling. So let's see if we can get the other two garden boxes in here. And uh, level, level it off. Quite a bit of dirt to move but I've only got maybe 10 more minutes of sunlight so I'm gonna wrap up this video for the day and I will probably make a part two of this video um, maybe not immediately because I want to do part two as like kind of putting the plants in but we shall see what happens but uh, let me show you how far we got so got today and then we'll wrap up the video so here is the side garden. This is going to be the shade garden because this gets morning sun and then all afternoon it's shaded. It does need quite a bit more soil to bring it up, but that's where we got so far. And then I put this little one here. It'll get some dirt as well. And then over here, I finished putting the block wall around it and got some dirt in. Like I said, I still have quite a bit of dirt left to move to fill these up. And then I put a little one over here. I am really excited to see these finished and filled out with flowers and plants this year. Although next year, everything's gonna come back and fill in even more and it's just gonna be absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited to see them next year for sure. But. So far, progress is coming along well, and uh, I'm excited to see it finished. So if you guys have any questions about my shade gardens going in, or just gardening in general, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. It lets you know when anything new is up on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.